My name is Replay, and I'm here helping Corsair out of making these AMV logs. Now, this is my first time making one, so let's hope I do a good job. Today, I'll be teaching you how to mask in After Effects. A lot of you guys have been asking, and they're afraid to attempt it, but it's really easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, we have a clip here of a girl dancing. Yes, she's dancing. And she's drunk off juice. She's having a blast. Now, go up here and select the pen tool. Or hit G on your keyboard. Zoom in a little bit. You click, it'll make a dot. But stop. This creates a shape layer. Now, Corsair's cover shape layer, so I won't go into it. So I'll just undo it. You have to make sure you have your clip selected. Then you click and it makes a mask. Now we start with one point, and if we click again and let go, it makes a straight line. Okay, it's cool. Now, if we click again and hold, it makes a curve. With this setup, you can mask the character pretty quickly. So, I'm, just, I'm going to do it quickly. I probably fast forwarded this part for you guys. Alright, we have her all masked out. Pretty easy. Nothing to it, right? Now, you gotta make sure you click on your first point you made to complete the mask. And that's basically it. Now, you see this black? This is the transparent area or your alpha channel. Now, if we add a solid, make it white, and we drag it underneath, you can tell this character's been masked out. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to m make a mask and invert it. Like, we want to cut this section out. So, we start again. Make sure you select your clip. Make your mask. then down here on your timeline mass 2 you have a mode well you can select this mode to be many different modes but we're going to choose subtract and voila easy enough okay now the next thing if you notice if we click off the clip is that these edges are very edgy well, that's just ugly, right? Well, we can feather. You go down here, and you can drop arrow, and you have mask feather. Now, we can crank this up a little bit, and if I click off, you can tell it's starting to blur the edge. Now, this outline could get annoying to you, right? You can go up here, and you can click on this button which toggles mask off and on. So you can click it. Now, we can really see what we're doing, see? We'll do it just a tad, just a tad. And then for mask two, we're gonna do the same thing. Just, just a tad, you know? That looks a little bit better. That's easy enough, right? Now, in After Effects CS6, only CX6, you go up here to the pen tool, or hit G again, you can bring out the mask feather tool. Now, 
let's enable this. Now watch this. I click on my mask and I drag out and I can control the feathering this way in certain areas. If I create another one, I can really have fine control on my mask. Most of the time, just using the feather down here works just great. Now I'm going to undo this a couple times. Now, you probably wondering, well, how do I animate this mask? Well, it's very simple. Well, we're going to make sure we can see the mask pass. And we're going to hit the stopwatch. Okay. And we're going to go a couple frames ahead where she moves. Now, most of the time, I like to turn off my mask to none. So it's not doing anything. I just see the outline. Now, what you do, make sure I'm on the mask tool. You can click, well, hover above your points. It'll turn into an arrow. And you can move these points. And you can adjust your handles and everything. Now, I'm going to pie, I'm going to fast forward this. All right, I'm back. Now, it already made two keyframes for us. Now, you notice that the mask is animating over time to get to that position. So correct this, copy and paste the keyframes so the mask will animate until the next frame. All right, let's turn these back on. Easy enough. Now, that is one way of animating the mask. Now, another way of doing it, if, if I just remove the keyframes that we just made, Now, on this, on the next frame that she moves on, let me just cancel the keyframes. If you hold Control Shift D, you can split your layer. And if we bring down the mask, you can animate these. Each time she moves, and you won't have to do any keyframing. Easy enough? Okay. Well, I hope that helps you guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah.